this Carmo video is heading towards our American viewers especially because three of the vehicles might be very interesting for them. Jeep Compass, Cadillac CDS, facelift and also an update of the Nissan Pathfinder. Let's start with the Compass. The Jeep Compass and Patriot replacement is inching closer to a production as spy photographers have snapped photos of the new car. Set to slot in between the Renegade and Cherokee, the heavily disguised model appears to be heavily influenced by the Cherokee and Grand Cherokee. Styling details are hard to make out, but we can see the model has a rakish windscreen, an upward sweeping belt line and a dynamic greenhouse. The crossover also has circular fog lights, a tailgate mounted spoiler and slender taillights. Little else is known about the crossover. But it is expected to ride on an extended version of the small wide platform that underpins the Fiat 500X and Jeep Renegade. Engine options are expected to carry over from the latter model, so power could be provided by a 2.5 liter Tiger Shark 4 cylinder engine that produces 180 horsepower. The Jeep Compass and Patriot replacement will be unveiled later this year in Brazil as the country is home to the first plant that will build the crossover. Now to the Cadillac CTS facelift. This is the revised 2007 Cadillac CTS caught testing near Milford in Michigan, USA. Despite rumors, the CTS name would morph into the CT5 for 2017 in line with Cadillac's new nomenclature strategy. The company's mid-sized sedan will continue with the old nameplate for now and get some mild changes halfway into its life cycle. There's a new grille that's more reminiscent of the one found in the CT6 and XT5 crossover. This model has a front-facing camera, but it's unclear if night vision from the CT6 will also be offered on the CTS. At the rear there's a new bumper and vertical exhaust outlets, but it's otherwise extremely similar as before. The CTS already got the modern 3.6 liter V6 in 2016, so powertrain changes could be limited to the CTS V which should adopt the 10-speed automatic that's part of a joint venture between GDM and Ford. Lesser models will continue to make do with the 8-speed unit. A plug-in variant is rumored, although unconfirmed. Inside, the CTS should get the latest version of the CUE and various upgrades. Expect to see the 2017 CTS late this year. And finally to the Nissan Pathfinder facelift. This Pathfinder has been caught on camera featuring camouflaged front and rear fascias hiding a series of cosmetic tweaks that are being prepared for the 2017 model year. The most significant visual change will occur at the front, where the 2017 Pathfinder will adopt Nissan's latest take on the V motion grille. In addition, the front bumper will also go through a minor nip and tuck, which among others will bring different fog light housings. Seeing there's a camouflage on the other side mirror caps, changes, I see that will also be revised in time for the 2017 model year. Also probably nothing to write home about. The revisions at the back currently remain masked under the Suburlim camouflage, but expect to find a re-sculpt bumper and quite possibly new graphics for the taillights. Again, nothing you should get too excited about. Photos of the interior are not available in this set, but as we've come to expect from most car manufacturers, the 2017 Pathfinder will likely gain additional technology. Nissan's latest crop of safety and assistance systems is likely on the agenda, along with an update to the latest generation infotainment system. We haven't heard anything about changes underneath the hood, so most likely Nissan will sell the 7-seater SUV with the same 3.5-liter V6 engine. It pushes out 260 horsepower delivered to both axles through a continuously variable transmission CVT. Look out for an official debut in the months to come, prior to a market launch likely to set for the this autumn as 2017 model year.